To me, it's all about like having that ingredient and the execution and technique of it. But if you want to be successful at anything you want to do, you really got to want it and you just got to focus. I was so focused in my career. I would wake up, I would get on the train, from New Jersey to Penn Station, from Penn Station, get on the subway, walk to the restaurant. In this industry, man, it's all about how much do you really want it. Welcome to the Magic Hour here at Sobu in the French Quarter, whose motto is where life is meant to be lived, not endured. We have a very special guest today, Juan Carlos Gonzalez. And I have to ask to kind of kick it off, like, how did you land here at Sobu in New Orleans? So I worked for the Commander's family for 17 years in four different restaurants. You know, so I started at Commander's, kind of worked my way up through the ladder. Katrina happened in 05, and in 2005. And so we were closed for about a year and a half for renovation purposes. So um, they, I, I switched over to uh, our sister restaurant called Cafe Adelaide. So I was a sous chef there for about three and a half years. Uh, then I got an opportunity to become uh, an executive chef my first time around. <laughs> And that was a, a, a turning point in my career. But the thing about it is that it wasn't in New Orleans. It was in Houston. So I opened a brand new restaurant called Bistro Alex in a brand new hotel. Come find out, Houston wasn't my thing. I did, my flow wasn't there. My inspiration wasn't there. But I had a good conversation with the owner. So like, hey, I'm really sorry. Thank you for the opportunity, but this is not for me. And I always knew that I wanted come back to New Orleans. And so she's like, well, Juan Carlos, it just so happens that we have something on the works, uh, and there's no question about it that in our family, uh, out of all the chefs, you were a unanimous decision, and that was to open Sobu. And so wow. Sobu, uh, you know, that's my fourth restaurant, my second restaurant, opening as executive chef, and the concept of it, you know, out of all of our, the restaurants that we own, it's the more playful one. You know, you don't have you have an amazing cocktail program happening. You got a cool beer garden over there. You got amazing food. The food's uh, inspired by Louisiana street food, of course, with a Caribbean flair. And it's in the quarter, right? So all those things kind of tied to my persona, my character, my charisma. You know, it's like, man, we're gonna have such a cool restaurant like that. Well, we need such a cool chef like that. <laughs> Not that I'm bragging or anything, but I mean, it's a perfect fit. But it, but it just makes it, it makes sense, man. You feel it, you know. It's like, like absolutely. So I was so happy, man. I remember my buddy Tori, yeah, she had a commanders, man. He flew to Houston to help me pack and help me move over here, man. And so I kid you not, man. The first meeting that we had. Uh, in, in, in the executive committee, uh, was on the ride back from Houston to New Orleans, in the car. That's amazing. <laughs> so yeah, man. So yeah, so Houston wasn't my flow, man. Yeah. It's New Orleans, it is, man, you know? And if it's not New Orleans, it's definitely Puerto Rico, right? <laughs> we don't want, no, you yeah. need to stay here. <laughs> you need to stay here. Well, who knows, maybe we'll open something in Puerto Rico. <laughs> yeah. So Boreen come, there you go, I like so, that, man. So, so. I love it. Absolutely, in a heartbeat, man. <laughs> ah, yeah. By the way, we have free parking. <laughs> T's gonna get a kick out of that yeah. one. <laughs> That's awesome. Let me uh, let me ask you. On a, on, you have a, I'm curious for for just your own as a chef. Like, is there is there a, a favorite dish or something when you're making that really is there? A, uh, like, talk to me about just the food itself. Like, as a chef, like, is there something that fires you up when you're you know cooking? There, there's so much amazing ingredients in, in Louisiana that I can't really tell you like, yeah. hey man, this is like my favorite thing to do. Because uh, I really don't have one, yeah. okay? I, I like it all. Yeah. Uh, to me, it's all about like having that ingredient and the execution and technique of it, you know? Make, make, make sure it's well seasoned and make sure it's cooked correctly. To me, that's what's important. At the end of the day, man, you know, if, if, if you can, 
utilize salt and pepper or Creole seasoning, which is what we use here, correctly, man, there's something wrong with you, man. It needs to be enhanced with a little bit of what we call magic, right? Um, you know, and the execution of it and, 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 and the technique that you use, man, that's important too, you know? Uh, Why is that? I, I think it's important to the customer. You know, there's so much competition in New Orleans. There's so many chefs, there's so many restaurants. Why are we special, okay? So, to me, it's very simple, man. You know, local seasonal ingredients, seasoned and, and cooked, executed perfectly. That's it, man. Whatever other sauces and whatever other garnishes and whatever other things you decide to do with it, that's a plus, man, you know? But, coming back to your question, I love to cook seafood. I love seafood, man. One of my favorite things in the whole world is uh, I love crispy whole fish, mm. okay? That's the way I learned how to eat it, uh, where I'm from in Puerto Rico, and to the day, in every restaurant that I've cooked as a chef, I've always had a crispy whole fish of some sort on the menu. Just speak on the word flavor for me. Like, what does that word mean to you? Man, it can mean so many things. I mean, it does mean so many things, but, you know, flavor, man, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's your, your, the passion that you have that goes into that one plate, okay? Uh, you know, where, where did that fish slip last night? You know, and how fresh is that? Uh, you know, what did you do to that fish to make it taste or to have all those good flavors that we're talking about, right? You know, what did you dress it with? What sauce did you put with it? How do you present it on the plate? And all that is part of flavor. So if you know me a little bit, right, and you see my food and you ate my food, you'll see that it's very vibrant, okay? Very colorful and it stands out. And that's my personality on the plate, if that makes sense to you. What drives you? in your work as a chef? What people did for me 17 years ago and how they helped me, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, be successful and appreciate the passion that I have, you know, to love that. For me to teach that to the guys that are in my kitchen, you know, and, and, and more so the people that I work for, you know, front of the house, back of the house. But to be able to pass that along to other folks that are especially younger in their career, to me that's special. Is there somebody that comes to your mind immediately when, I, when you think about people that kind of inspired you to, to keep doing what you do? Um, a story uh, on that. Absolutely, man. Uh, I definitely think that both of my parents, especially my dad, uh, has that influence on me. He's a hardworking man. You know, at almost 70 years old, he's still, you know, rolling around. And uh, I, I look up to him a lot, you know? To be successful in life, I don't care if you're a chef, a, a lawyer, a doctor, it doesn't matter, man. But if you want to be successful at anything you want to do, you really got to want it and you just got to focus. So I've been ending the show giving each, each person who comes their, their set of glass beads. So I'm going to get to put these on. My man, That's Juan awesome. Carlos Gonzalez. Ah, uh, look at you, man. And cannot <laughs> thank you enough. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Killed it. Killed it.